Hello there, welcome to a new session and in this session we are going to set up the Eclipse ID for Java Enterprise Edition or Web Developer. As many people and students are having some problems related to setting up the Eclipse ID, like they are not able to connect the server, they are not able to add the jars on the class path of Eclipse ID and several problems like that. So I will be resolving all the problems related to setting up the Eclipse ID in front of you so that it would be easier for you to set up the Eclipse ID or it would be smoother for you. So let's get started and I will show you uh, a small sample project as well so that uh, you would be able to run that same project in your computer also. So in this process, first of all, we will have to download the Tomcat server. And if you have already downloaded the Tomcat server, so you can skip the part of for downloading the Tomcat server. And if you have it, then you can go with me. So first of all, open your browser and type Tomcat server downloader on the search bar and just press enter. After pressing enter, you will get this type of web page or this type of web page would be appeared in front of you. Just click uh, the first link that would be appeared in front of you. And I will suggest you to download the ninth version of the Tomcat because it is more stable than the 10th version. And if you want the updated version, that, then you can download it, the 10th version. But I will go with the ninth version of Apache Tomcat. Just click that, uh, that link and it would indeed redirect you to a new web page and this type of web page would be open in front of you and just download the 64 bit windows zip file there is an installer as well but uh, that installer will also be downloading a zip file on your computer so both of these things are doing the same thing so i will suggest you to download the zip file just click the that zip file so it would be downloaded uh, as i have already done it so i will not be downloading it so after downloading the zip file just unzip that file on the root of your C drive so that it would be easier for us to set the path. Root of your C drive means C colon backslash whatever the folders are. Just place the unzipped folder there so it would be easier for us to find the folder. Just after that uh, we will have to we will have to install the Eclipse ID for web developers. So if you are already having the Eclipse ID for web de developers, then you do not need to download it. Let me show you that uh, how to check is it already in your computer or not. So just click the search bar and uh, you can type Eclipse, Eclipse. So if when you will type Eclipse and if any search appears something like this, Eclipse ID for enterprise Java and web developers. So you do not need to worry about it because it is already present in your computer. So you do not have to download it and uh, if you are not getting it in your search bar then you will have to download. So if you are not having it then you can you you should have to uh, type download Eclipse for web developers type this on your search bar and just click enter. So you will get something like this type of interface and just click Eclipse ID for enterprise Java and web developers. Just click that one. When you will click it. So something like this, this type of interface would be open in front of you and you will have to click this download button on the right side of the web page. So just click this download button. When you will click this download x86 under 464, uh, a new web page would be open in front of you and then you will have to click the download button again. After clicking that download button again, it will uh, redirect to you to a specific web page and the download would be automatically started like this. Now I will not be downloading it because I have already done it and uh, I will show you how to install it. Don't worry about it. So just after downloading it, you should have to install the Eclipse ID for web developer. So as you can see, when you open that exe file that you have downloaded, something like this interface would be open in front of you. So you will have to click this one, the Eclipse ID for enterprise Java and web developers. So just click this and it will, it will ask you to, uh, it will ask the installation folder as well as uh, the creating start menu entry or create desktop shortcut. So it's completely up to you what you want and just click the install option. After that, it would get installed automatically and uh, then you will have to launch it. So I have already opened the Eclipse ID in web for web developers and I have created a small project also for showing you that is it running or not. So as you can see, there is an error in JSP file. So we, uh, after setting up this complete Eclipse ID, that those errors would get vanished. So first of all, what we need to do is we will have to set the server. So no servers are available. So just click this link to set up the server. So here we will be choosing the Apache Tomcat server ninth version. So Apache version 9.0 server. So I have chosen it and um, 
then we have to configure the runtime environment as well. So just click this configure runtime environment or sorry, yeah, server runtime environment first. So just click add. And when you will click add, something like this would be open in front of you. And in my computer, that specific uh, runtime environment is already set up. So here, what you need to do is you will have to browse for click on the browse and wherever you have kept your Tomcat server or the folder of Tomcat server after unzipping, just go into that, into that folder. So I have kept it on the root of my C drive. So I will go on the Tomcat server and I will select this folder because you do not need to select any bin or whatever, select this folder. After selecting this folder, the Tomcat installation directly is already uh, filled there and you, you can just click the finish. After clicking finish, that uh, runtime environment is already configured and now just click next and finish. So your server is automatically getting uh, configured now and you do not need to do anything and if you will try to run this server now then it would not run it will give you the errors that server cannot be started because one or more of your ports are invalid so we have to solve the problem of ports or so just double click on your tomcat server this one here double click your tomcat server a new file would be open in front of you and here on the port name the admin port name is wrong here we will have to uh, we will have to correct that name uh, instead of that hyphen or most probably you will have minus one or something like this number or any symbol there so you just you can give any number there uh, i am giving one and you can enter and just after that control plus s just save that file and then and when you will again restart the server then that server gets restarted So as you can see, the server is started and uh, let me open the console. So here, server startup in 1655 milliseconds. So like this, you can start the server and you can set up the server on Eclipse ID. Now let's get started or let's see about this. Uh, now the most important thing comes into the picture. We will have to build the path or uh, we will have to configure the path for the, for the project that we will be creating because we will have to specify the Tomcat server libraries or the jar files into this project. Otherwise, otherwise we would not be able to use the servlets or these types of things. So we will have to build the path. So double click on the project that you are creating and uh, go to the build path and configure build path. When you will click configure build path, then something like this would be open in front of you. And then, uh, in this or uh, i am in library currently if you are if, if by default if you are in the source so go to the libraries and something like this would be open in front of you now we have to include all the jar files of the tomcat server so just click the module path first click the module path and click add jars when you will click add sorry uh, external jars add external jars and then you will have to go uh, just after clicking that or for adding the external jars, we will have to go to the Tomcat server unzip folder. Let's go into it and we will have to go, uh, open the lib folder this time. When you will open lib folder this time, all the jar files would get, uh, uh, would be dis displayed in front of you or appeared in front of you. Just select all those jar files, control plus A. So all those jar files would be selected and just open all those jar files. So when I will open it, all the jar files are getting included into the module path and just apply those, those, those changes. When you will apply those changes and just apply and close, so it will automatically uh, start getting those jar files into the class bar or module path and see this, that error is vanished. We are not having any error in this project now. And if you will run this, if you will run this project, then it will also run. See this, as you can see, all the, this project is run. Uh, it is also getting executed properly. Hello there, this is my first application. Isn't it good? So when I will click this button, so thanks for the feedback, it means a lot. So my web application is also working properly and uh, I hope these things are clear. If you are having any doubt, any problem in executing your web application, 
so please comment it below i will try to get to you as soon as possible and try to solve your problem